your defined booty and thighs workout. And by the end, your booty is going to feel so nice and lifted and perky. And remember, this is a part of the Bar Booty Lift series where you can download your guide with the link below absolutely free and join our amazing community. And don't forget to tag me in your sweaty selfies like these ladies right here who are getting amazing results with my workouts. All right, this workout doesn't need any equipment at all, but if you wanna take it up a notch, grab those ankle weights and let's get started. I'm gonna start here on the mat with my ankle weights already on. So let's get right into the workout, okay? Your first move, I'm super excited, is going to be a push-up into a leg lift. So I know you're thinking, wait, this is just legs, but the push-up is gonna help your whole body warm up. So let's start here in a nice half plank position. So follow me here. Hands on any shoulders, I wanna make sure that you're set up properly. Abs are pulled in, tailbone tucked under. Elbows are gonna flare out slightly to the side of your ribs and then come up, lift the leg up into an attitude. So knees down, toes are up and that's your first move, all right? We're gonna do 20 times. Let's get into it, let's go. So lowering down for 20 and up, 19 and up. I want you to really focus on your hands. So make sure that they're really screwed into the floor, meaning that they are really pressed down into every single knuckle. Good, 15 more, 15. You're gonna feel that whole body starting to heat up, 14 and up, 13 and up, good, 12 and up. Keep that core in nice and tight, even as the leg comes up, 11. Good, halfway there, 10 more. 10, and lower, nine, whew. and eight, keep going, seven, especially start, as you start to get tired, and six, good, five, hold on to that core, keep it tight, and four, good, three, two, and one and the last one, there we go. Nice, we're gonna stay on that same side. So I'm gonna be on my left leg for this whole first part of class, okay? Now bring those hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath hips. You're gonna do a quick kick to the side. Tap down, quick kick, tap down. Here we go, for 20, 19, 18. Keep it going. Think about your core. Make sure that you're not shifting too far forward or over to the side. Good, 10, nine, eight quick kicks, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take that leg, we're gonna cross it all the way behind you. So you notice on my mat, it's over in that corner. Give a little slide back with those hips, swing it around, reach for the side, okay? All the way back again. Let the hip come back, arms extend forward, belly is pulled in. Think about stretching your spine as you do this. Swing it all the way side, hold into the core. Here we go for 20 and side, 19. Whew. You're gonna definitely feel the supporting hip starting to work as it supports this whole move. Good, 17, nice, 16, hold onto the core. 15, meaning close the ribs up, hold, belly button into spine, 14, 13, keep going. You've got this, eight and seven, six, whew. Five, feels good though, right? Four, three, two, get that leg up as high as you can. One, reset yourself, pull the core in, shoulders are over wrist, so think about that upper body, don't let yourself sink down here. Push the floor away, and then we're gonna kick to a diagonal back there. All right, pull the knee all the way in, up towards your shoulder, and then kick. 20 times, you guessed it. Here we go, 20 and 19. Keep it going, 18. I really want 
really want you to feel your core, okay? Notice how the obliques work on overtime here to get that leg up and around. So this tends to be a little bit more core, whew, which I love. Gets the whole body working. Nice, eight, seven. Promise you won't let me drown. Yeah. Two and one, all right. Now, if you're starting to feel a little bit fatigued on that bottom knee, just go ahead and fold up your mat. That gives it a little bit more padding there. Okay, now we're gonna draw the left knee into the right wrist, left knee into left wrist, and then we're gonna kick it back two times, like that, two little pumps, okay? So you're gonna bring it across, and other wrist, two times, 20 times like that. Pump, pump, and then pump up there. Nice, cross to the wrist, up and up. Just be in your body right now, really focusing on your form. Focus on your, uh, your toes, pointing your toes, extending your legs. there. Enjoy it. Allow yourself to find positivity in this, to find joy in the movement, experiencing your body. Good work. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Nice, now we're gonna tap that foot down. We're gonna step out into a high plank. Don't worry, you won't be here long. Bring the other knee down and down. Kick it up twice. So step into the high plank, step down, down, kick twice again. All right, here we go. Step, step, down, down, up, up. Good, 15. I love this one because it really helps to turn your abs on, right? They have to wake up as soon as you put those toes down just in case they were falling asleep there. So it forces you to activate the whole body and then get right back into lifting your booty. Ever the hands become too much, you could also modify here on the elbows to take some weight off of the wrist. That's definitely a great modification here for you if you need it. Good, four. Press those knuckles down into the floor. Three, two, and one. Tap, tap, down, down. Good. All right, you doing okay? Okay, so we're gonna turn over to the side here. I'm gonna come into a nice little side plank-ish. Hand underneath shoulder, knee underneath hip. We're gonna pull the knee in towards the chest. You're gonna wrap it around, nice little pretzel behind you. Squeeze, almost like you're trying to touch your own shoulder. Okay, wrap it around, really squeeze that glute there. Pull it in and wrap. In and wrap 20 times. Let's do this. 19, 18, 17. I want you to think about your whole body lengthening out through the chest, through the spine, holding onto that core. And 14, good. 13, 12, 11, 10, 
Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Keep that chest proud. Two. And one. Nice. Last move right here. And then we're going to move on to the other side. You're going to tap down in front of you. Reach. Point the toe. Nice, long, beautiful line here. And then back to the front. Yes, 20 times. Let's do it, 20. And 19, 18, 17, nice graceful arm. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. You're gonna really feel those outer glutes. 11, keep going. Two, and one. Can you hold it here? Yes, you can. Little kicks, 20, 19, 18, 17. Good little finisher here. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. Okay, shake out those wrists. We're gonna work on our core for just a little bit to give our legs a break before we go onto the other side. Okay, so let's place the elbows down. You're gonna put, come up onto your toes. You're gonna tap the knees down and lift, tap and lift, okay? For just 45 seconds here. I just wanna recommit to our core because the core really does need to support the body throughout the exercises. So right here, really focus on pulling the lower belly in, creating that mind-body connection to the core to help wake it up even more and stay strong for our second side. Good. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Keep going, tap, lift, tap, lift. About 15 seconds more right here. You can do it. Nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Whew. You're doing amazing. Here we go, last three, two, one. Lower down, give yourself a nice little breather. Whew. Just lift up through the chest, shoulders down and back. Maybe even come up a little bit higher. We're gonna do one more plank move right here. Coming back up onto the elbow so that we can continue to give the wrists that break and then come up. Here we go, we're gonna do 45 seconds right here and we're gonna go forward and back. Forward and back. Now if this is too much for you, just put those knees down. All right, we're starting now. So you can either hold your half plank here with the lower belly in, or you can join me in doing rocks. So if you're level two, three, come up here. Level one, stay down here, okay? Always good to just listen to your body. Maybe you can even kind of go back and forth between the two. But remember to always be challenging yourself, pushing yourself just a little bit to see what you're capable of. I think you're gonna probably surprise yourself and realize that you're stronger than you gave yourself credit for. Good, almost there. Good, five, four, three, two, one. And take a breather. All right, we're gonna do one more core exercise here. Come onto your elbows again. And we're just gonna take nice little switches, thinking about that lower belly, squeezing in nice and tight. Here we go, and reach. Reach, reach, reach. I want you to also think about your posture. This is a great time to awaken your spinal muscles because I really want you to be thinking about your whole upper half of your body even as you work the legs. That's why I love bar so much because it can really help to improve your whole posture and you're burning a ton of calories because even though it is technically a leg exercise, the whole body really needs to work in order to get that leg up, to keep it up, keep going. And yeah, if you've got ankle weights on, you've got that extra challenge here for the lower core, which is great. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you ready for the other side? Let's do this. So I'm gonna just right away 
pull this in so I have a little padding for my knees. Okay, so here we go. We get to start with our push-ups. Yay, into the attitude lift, okay? So I'm gonna come here. Actually, let me move this a little bit further back so I have room for my push-ups here. There we go. All right, so remember, we're going into a push-up. Starting in your half plank, shoulders over wrists, fingers spread out wide, push into those knuckles. Elbows are gonna just go right by the ribs. Belly squeezes in, and then lift up into your attitude. You ready? Let's do this. 20, and up. 19, and up. Keep going. Way there, 10 more. Stay strong through the upper body, stay strong through the arms. And if you're new to push ups, just don't go as deep. Just take a little micro bend there with the arms. All right, there's always a way to make it work for your body and progress. And if you're like, these push ups are easy, then you can do double push ups in between. Little two pumps. <laughs> Good. Keep going. You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? I don't know. Last one. Down. And up. Good. Now we're going to do that quick tap to the side kick. Ready? Here we go. Out. And out. Ten, nine, keep going. Awesome, swing that right around. We're gonna lean it back. Extend through the arms. I want you to really press through the fingers. Every single little finger is on the floor. Swing it around, hold into that core. Point the toe, try to kick someone next to you. Swing it right back around and back down, good. Make sure that your knee is underneath your hip, okay? You're not twisting yourself so that you can keep your knee nice and safe as we slide it back. Here we go, 20 times. Hold onto that core, those obliques work a lot in this one. Whew. So keep it working, keep it engaged. Use those arms as well, the shoulders. Whew. Keep it going. there eight more eight and seven you've got this you're doing amazing six I mean just the fact that you're here right now says it all right five four knee into the wrist, left wrist, right wrist, pump it back twice. So in, in, pump twice. Let's go. there. 
Ten more. Stay with me, stay present. You're almost there. Instead of fading out, lock it in. Tell yourself you're gonna finish strong, that you've got this. You gotta always be cheering yourself on. I'm gonna be right here with you every step of the way. Keep going. Three. Two. One. And up. Good. All right, let's come onto our elbows for this one to give our hands a break. We're gonna pump it up again, and then tap, tap, down, down. Good. Up, up. Oops, tap, tap, down. So your goal here is to get that butt down when the toes are here, butt goes down, all right? And then you gotta, yeah, pull that knee in, use that core. Lots of booty and core here. Halfway there. Take your time. So if the reps feel like they're too much, just take down the reps a little bit and just slow the movements down. Do it at your own pace. This is a great style of workout where you can really build at your own pace. Feel yourself getting stronger with every rep. Every time you come back to work out with me, you're making progress. You may not see it right away, but just know every time you come in, you're putting in the work, you're creating that progress. Every single time you come work out with me. Last three. Whew. Last two. And one. Nice, okay. Are you getting winded like I am? All right, hope so. So we're gonna come onto our side, shoulder over wrist, hips over knee. Let's draw that knee all the way in towards our chest as much as it goes, wrap it around. That way you're trying to touch your toe to your shoulder. Okay, so I want you to squeeze, yes, that much. Put your hand here, even feel that glute fire up. Feel the hamstring fire up. Squeeze it as much as you can. Now take your hand, put it right there on your belly button, pull that belly button in. Yes, instead of hanging out here, pull it in. And then take the shoulder, make it go longer. Instead of shorter, press it away. There we go. Now you've got it, let's do it. 20 and 19. 18, keep going. Halfway there, 10, nine, eight, keep it going, seven, whew, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna tap the toe in front of us just like this, right there on the ball of your toe. Kick it side, nice, beautiful, long line. Arm is gonna come up overhead. Take that hand, pull the belly in. Take the hands on the ribs, close the ribs, good. Now tap it down, here we go, 20 times, 20. And if you don't get it right away, that's okay, it takes practice. It takes consistency, right? And consistency wins overall. Instead of doing, you know, an hour, two hour workout on a Saturday, it's better to do a little 20, 30 minute workout every day, right? Consistency always wins. Half 
halfway. I know, this is where you start to really feel the bird. We're so close. We've got our last little, little kicks there. Four, three, and two. One, here we go, little kicks. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh my goodness. All right, you're all done. Amazing work. Take this little stretch here with me. It's gonna make a big difference. Oh, oh man. Remember to take that sweaty selfie for a chance to be featured on my Instagram. You did awesome. Share this workout with a friend and stretch it out. You did it. Big high five for you. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep creating videos like this for you. And if you're ready to transform your body in just four weeks, then download my app starting risk-free for seven days. The link is down below and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.